So in this video, we're going to talk about adjustment clip layers, which are a great way to add different kind of visual effects to multiple clips at the same time, or to overlay one underlying clip with a video effect without directly affecting the underlying clip. So you could kind of think of adjustment clips as adding whatever you do to the adjustment clip over any clips that are below it on the timeline. So to find an adjustment clip layer, we go over to effects library, toolbox, and then effects. So you can find it right at the top here where it says adjustment clip. Now to use an adjustment clip, you have to drag it onto the timeline like you would a normal video clip. And in almost all cases, you're going to want it to be on video track two or above because what an adjustment clip does is it affects the underlying layer with the changes you make to the adjustment clip. So if I drag this adjustment clip above our two clips here, let's go ahead and drag this right around there. Well, we can see that it's five seconds by default. So if you actually want it to affect both of these clips, then you'll need to expand its duration past that point in the timeline. So I'm going to left click on the border of the clip and drag it over here to the right in order to expand the duration of this adjustment clip. So as long as the adjustment clip is in play, it's part of the timeline. If I change something like the zoom, it's gonna affect the underlying layers. So we can see on each of the underlying clips that the zoom value is set to 1.0. So no zoom has been affecting the bottom clip or over here on the second clip to the right on video check one. If I click on it, it has a zoom of one, but I can increase the zoom on both of them by increasing the zoom on the adjustment clip layer. So select the adjustment clip. We'll get the orange box around it, and then we can go and increase the zoom. Let's just make it something like times two. And now you can see that although it's on the adjustment clip layer, the underlying clip is going to have that zoom of 2.0. And if we go to the second clip over here, we can see that the 2.0 zoom also applies there. So it makes it really easy to move over the transition cut, but apply the same effect to multiple clips. So if I hit play here, then it's going to transition to the clip on the right. But both of them are going to be zoomed in by default, thanks to that adjustment clip. Another great use for an adjustment clip is that you can have it apply only over part of the underlying clip. So here the adjustment clip is right about to end. So if I hit play and the adjustment clip ends, it's going to return the zoom back to that 1.0 because the adjustment clip is not above the video track one right here. So you could easily use a small adjustment clip when you need to zoom in on something in your video clip, but only for a few seconds. And then you don't want to mess around with keyframes. You just want to set a specific duration where you double the zoom with an adjustment clip. So speaking of keyframes and animation, you can also use keyframes on adjustment clips. So if you want to do an animation, like let's say have the zoom transition from 1.0 to 2.0 over the duration of this adjustment clip, and then you want that transition to occur as our clips are transitioning, we don't need to keyframe each of the underlying clips in order to have them sync up nicely. We can just keyframe the top adjustment clip and then we'll get a seamless transition as the bottom clips cut from one to the other. So let's go ahead right about here and I will set a keyframe for the zoom on the left clip. Let's go ahead and set the zoom for 1.0 and then I'm going to keyframe it there. Now let's go over about an equal distance on the right side for the second underlying clip right around here in the timeline. And now I'm going to still click on the adjustment clip layer and we'll set a new keyframe value here. So I'm going to zoom 2.0 here. And now we have two keyframes set. So it's going to cause a animation over that duration. So I'll hit the left arrow here to go back to the first keyframe. We can hit play and we can watch that zoom in animation occur. And then at that moment where the underlying clips cut, the zoom is still occurring. So it makes it really easy to have a animation carry through between two clips, even as you cut between them or you have another underlying transition. To take it one step further, with adjustment clips, you can just about apply anything to them that you could apply to the base underlying clip. So if we wanted to apply a video effect, we could also do that with an adjustment clip layer. So in effects or open effects, we can come down here find a effect that we might want to apply to both clips, and we can just drag that onto our adjustment clip layer. So for instance, uh, we could try something like glow out, though it does appear that the preview isn't going to work super nicely on the top adjustment clip because the adjustment clip doesn't have any video information itself. So while you're previewing it, you might want to click on the bottom clips 
and then kind of hover over the glow effect or maybe the light rays to see how it will look roughly speaking. And then go to the top and then drag the glow effect onto the adjustment clip layer. So that will open up the effects tab and the inspector over here. And we can go ahead and control the glow effect for the adjustment clip layer, which if we click over here on the left is going to be applying to uh, the first clip as well, since the adjustment clip sits on top. The glow effect doesn't really immediately appear as obvious here uh, due to it being a daytime scene. We can toggle the glow effect on and off to see how it affects things a little bit. So with glow on in the top right, we can see that there's a little more of light glow. If we want to increase the impact of the effect, we can play around with some of the settings down here. So increasing the brightness will make that glow a bit more apparent. We could also lower the shine threshold so that the base brightness that is needed for there to be the glow effect goes down a little bit. So it's expanding the radius of our glow here. And if we go to the right side, then we can see a bunch more glow over here as well for these bright areas and our nighttime scene. One more thing you can note about adjustment clips is that you could stack more than one of them on multiple video tracks. So if I only wanted one of these effects per uh, adjustment clip layer, I could reset the zoom to its default here, and then I could bring out a new adjustment clip layer that will go on video track three. Let's right click in the area for video track one and video track two, and then we'll add an extra track. So we get video track three here now, and we can bring a new adjustment clip over the same duration. Okay, let's make sure it's on video track three there, and we can expand the right side of it, snap it to the same duration as the underlying clip. And now we can separate our zoom from our glow effect. That could be useful for multiple reasons. One would be maybe you want the effects to be at different points in the timeline. So they might overlap a little bit, but maybe you pull your zoom out here to the right. So now the start and end of the zoom is going to be different from the start and end of the glow effect. So let's go ahead and keyframe the zoom. I will just put a keyframe there kind of randomly, go over here to the right, and let's increase the zoom a bit. Now we can go to the start here, hit play, and we can watch both of the effects. So currently there's no zoom, but we see the glow effect. And now as we get to that point in the timeline where the adjustment clip starts zooming in, it's a little bit more gradual than it was before. But as we watch it progress over the next few seconds, we can kind of see it zooming in very subtly until we get to right around here. We can also watch the values change on the top right in the inspector to verify that it is actually working. Okay, so that's adjustment clips in a nutshell. They are a really great way to affect underlying video clips. If you need to apply one effect to multiple video clips, they're gonna be really helpful. Or if you just want to separate your changes so that everything is its own thing, you want to zoom across a specific point in time, or you wanna apply some video effects, then you can do that quite easily with adjustment clips. I definitely recommend giving them a shot and trying them in your video workflow.